You get back up. Dad, I am so proud of you. My God, I have you. We're gonna fall 14 the shit out of it. Space for spirit. Oh! Let's see what these suits are capable of. Your heart rate is quite high. Turn back, Martin. It was the weirdest day. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. To this is the Three Way Podcast Hope Day Show. Yeah, got myself. I'm JD McKinney, as always. Um, you got Mr. Man behind the computer, Mr. Elias, aka Jerks, and got Los with the most over there doing uh, his little nineties camera thing. Host. <laughs> got his little late 90s webcam era thing going on over there for real man we're gonna need you times to are hard man look there's another stimulus check coming in bro i'm gonna need you to get a, a laptop 2020 <laughs> laptop something something new man please hey, you, you guys don't need to yeah. eat you need a laptop right <laughs> no. all right so we're gonna be uh, next, uh, this week we are doing a review of the netflix series space force oh all right, uh, right yeah. wait, wait. Before we go deep inside this this series, I'm gonna let you know right now. Said. I only watched like three episodes because it pissed me off so bad. I hated the show <laughs> so much. Like it, it pissed me off. Like it, it, like it was so stupid. Well, anyways, we'll get into it. <laughs> yeah, gonna, we'll do the good. We'll do the bad. We'll do the ugly. You know, you know how we always usually like to do this. So. Um, I watched the whole season. Yes, it's goofy. <laughs> But weren't we just talking about another show not so long ago that was goofy as well? But that seemed to be fine. This this show is intentionally goofy. And yeah, it's it's no detrimental I mean, to yeah, it sometimes. Yeah, it's goofy, but, but like was it necessary to change like uh his voice? I'm a, I'm a child, like I'm a corporal now because I'm very important. Like, was that necessary? The, no, he was trying to be the whole military thing. It's, that, that happens a lot of times when those guys gain rank. They try to try to be. It's it's like he, he was doing he was doing yeah. improv the entire time, but like yeah. at some point you got to kind of stop. You know what I mean? Because then it's kind of like okay, we get it. It's funny. Ha ha ha. Do something else. But it was just the same damn thing the entire show. I was like, oh yeah, my god, like I can't, like I it couldn't stand. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand like the the humor was trying too hard to be like if it was The Office slash uh, Parks and Recs and you know just basically those other shows that I've already done it before. Like it didn't feel like I was really trying to do its own thing. And then they had like, of course they're making fun of Space Force, like the actual Space Force. Yeah. And like you know, it's kind of like they're trying to be like satire, like you know, it's real but it's not. And but I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm just gonna go off on this show so bad. Just go. Just yeah, tell it, me. It, tell it, me the good. Know, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I mean, it, it had it had sporadic funny points, but there was nothing consistent. It was all. I mean, it, it was like they were trying to mix a comedy with comedy with a uh, you know TV drama, and yeah. it didn't quite you know, mix very well, you know, it didn't quite do, it, it kind of, it was like they were trying to pull back the old uh, 90s style uh, comedy, you know, Friday night comedy shows, and it didn't quite have that kick to it, you know. Um, yeah, there were some, like, uh, actors that I feel weren't really fleshed out well or weren't utilized well. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there was, you know, some actors that, like, for example, um, Oh well, before well, I'm sorry. Name, uh, uh, yeah, let me get let me let me just give a TLDR of the show. Yeah. Uh, so the show's creators are Steve Carell and Greg Daniels. And Greg Daniels, like we were just giving him praise of the last show we were talking about, he did it was upload. Um, it stars Steve Carell, John Malkovich, and Ben Schwartz. Ben Schwartz is the voice of Sonic. He's been in Parks and Rex. He's John Raphael, I think his name was in there. Uh, yeah. So I mean. Literally, it feels like it should have been a, hit, a home run, but yeah, I don't it's know, got a, got a bunch of big names. It really does. It just but, yeah, like Vaughn, Ben yeah, Schwartz is one of those actors where I feel he didn't really make the role his own. It kind of taking parts of previous roles that he's done mm -hmm. and being that dimwit that he's kind of always been in a, and his role didn't feel original. Uh, I feel like okay, he's the. Um, the uh, social media coordinator for them. There, there was so much more I feel that role could have brought 
It just yeah. did, didn't do it for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, just certain roles. There are other roles that I feel are really good, right? I, I think John Malkovich, I really liked him as the, si- the sidekick scientist. I he like did, the kind yeah. of relationship he builds with Steve Carell, even though, yes, yeah, Steve Carell's role isn't that great, greatly done. I really like John Malkovich in this in this show. To me, he, he was like the funniest part of the show. Uh, kind of his comeback, his his sarcasm, his humor. Mm. I really liked John Malkovich in the show. Uh, he he's Doctor Mallory in this, uh, and mm. I, he's one of those bright spots of the of the series for me. Every time he was on screen, I was like, yeah, I want to hear what this guy has to say. And, uh, Jimmy Yang, who plays uh, Doctor Chan, also I really oh, yeah. liked him, except. In the end, when they start trying to give him that re- romance and that kind of like, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, it feels kind of forced. But other than that, I really like Doctor Chan. He's all the that actor Jimmy Yang is always funny in almost everything I've seen. I love, I like him as a comedian. Mm-hmm. Uh, and again, great in this role. Uh, but oh, Fred Willard, who we spoke about uh, just a couple of weeks ago, who just passed away. They dedicated the first episode oh, to him. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Really good in this show. I, even though there really is no point to him being in the show, I still found him funny in the show. He's kind of like a pointless character, but I still found yeah. him really good. Obviously, almost everything Fred Willard does is amazing. Proves it again in this. Uh, but the negative kind of outweighs everything else. Um, you know, Lisa could Lisa Kudrow. Oh yeah, Lisa uh, Kudrow was in here. Did I miss it, or did they ever say why she was in jail? I missed it. I might have missed no, that. No, I don't okay. know. I don't know. I don't know why. He's been jailed for forty to sixty years. Obviously, he killed somebody. But what, I mean, what happened with that? So yeah, that, the that, that daughter that as well. Not, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, teenage angst. We've seen it done so many yeah. times before. No one loves me. Okay. Um. Uh, Captain. Uh, Ca- Captain Ali. You know his yeah. personal like. Oh yeah. man. Okay. That. That 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 whole shtick between her and Steve Carell's character, I fucking hated that shit. That shit was so annoying. <laughs> like at first he was giving her shit for not landing the the helicopter where he wanted her to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I mean, like I said, I didn't watch the whole thing. I'm just like, and then her that- her 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 attitude. I mean, it was kind of like, like not. Not like it felt like it was not a part of that series. It, it felt like she was like really portraying that character. You know what I mean? Like she really yeah, was yeah. that person, that person who's like, uh, 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 who can fly all kinds of aircraft. Has been to the military forever. Like she felt like that person. Like she wasn't bullshitting. Like she, that's what she does for a living. But like that, just that that chemistry that they were trying to show. Like I was just like. Oh my god! Like, yeah, I can't, I can't watch this anymore. But there's some other like side characters that I really liked. Uh, the the Russian guy Yuri. Yeah, they didn't, that that they didn't utilize him enough, though. I mean, he really wasn't that utilized enough. Exactly, exactly. You know? exactly. You're right. And He's that's like, oh, like I'm not a thought. Russian spy. What are you talking about? Well, see, you missed some later. You missed some later parts where he was trying. He was dating the daughter and trying no, I know, to, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you know like like like, uh, like like your father's first pet. What was his name? Or like your mother? What was her maiden yeah. name? Yeah, like you're trying to get it's the information stupid, to get into that computer. It, it's yeah. funny. I liked it. The other uh, chief of staffs that for the other branches of oh, the Oh, yeah, the other. I really uh, liked that dynamic. Yeah. For me, again, that was hilarious. Didn't utilize them enough. Yeah, yeah. For me, that was hilarious because that's typical military right there. I mean, that's, exactly. you know, you get a bunch of different I branches. Just we're, imagine that. Yeah. We're gonna climb, but we're always going to climb on, on the Coast Guard. Always, exactly, you know? yeah. But I think, I think the best line in that was, you know, when they, when they said that, you know, that, that when Steve Carell takes over a space force, they're like, yeah, you're below Coast Guard. Yeah. The art, was it the... Uh, Salvation Army is hiring you now. It's like that was. I mean, I was that yeah. was just hilarious for me because that was just like was you know good. that's typical military but talk. You know, that's again, what we do. they didn't really utilize everybody yeah. there in every episode. There was maybe three scenes throughout the the season where they used them. Right. Three, four scenes. So I mean, there was the bright spots here and there. We, you know, I, I cracked up a lot of times. Uh, there's just bright spots here and there, but. Then there's yeah, some thoughts where, yeah, it's kind of cheesy. Uh, the characters just don't feel right. They're trying to force chemistry. Um, I would yeah. say it's a, it was a good parody. It wasn't a good comedy. Okay. You know, that, you know yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's you know, a the good other way thing, to too, it, that now that you bring it about the, the characters, I do, I do feel like their casting was miscast in some places. 
and in one of them I had Kasade. I think Steve Carell was miscast, and we got JP popping in out late. <laughs> but oh, like, wow. uh, okay. glad he could show yeah, up. I'm like... so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I literally had my phone on silent. I do apologize. Sorry. I was Legend of Zelda. I was Legend of Zelda. <laughs> uh, actually. Uh, give me a moment here, guys. Anybody I'm easier. Oh my god. No, but yeah, uh-huh. like, you, I, you I were feel, saying I, I feel like the it was just miscast. I think Steve Carell's character could have been somebody else. Like it, it could have been another actor. Uh, but he's the, he's one of the creators, so it kind of like oh, that's I'm fine. He could be a creator, but I understand but like you're like, right. Th- there could have been like another person to play someone, that yeah. character. Like yeah, they, but talking like this throughout the no, whole game no, series, they really cut it. Like. Like no, bro. I like no, bro. You're not a general. <laughs> Even though, yeah. like, okay, like I said, him, him, and John Malkovich. I think their relationship really worked. I liked how they bounced off of each other. John Malkovich or Doctor Mallory is the smart guy. Nerd is the military guy. I really like that dynamic, mm-hmm. but it, it just couldn't sustain the whole show, the whole series. You know? Okay. No, well, yeah. I mean, I I think unlike Elias, I think it has a strong cast. This show has a strong. No, cast. we said that. I, I no, the sure problem, here. Here. The yeah. problem is that they, that they 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 grabbed like super known uh, like actors, and like they were like, "Hey, we're looking for some friends who want to do this show with us. You guys want to come? Right. Yeah, let's go. Who cares if you're not really good for this part? As long as you're a huge name, like people will come and watch. Mm-hmm. Like I felt like that's their kind of like thinking of the way this was. It it's it just. It's just miscast. Like, there's other people that could have done it. Probably even an, an unknown. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I don't know off the top of my head of like of even of other characters, but for sure, like, I don't know. It's just this show. Like, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't stand. Well, it. I, I am gonna be honest. I, think... I want to get a T-shirt that says "Boobs on the Moon" 2024. I Actually, I do like, like that. that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did like that. <laughs> I there were some jokes that hit. That's the yeah. thing about this show. Yeah, there yeah, were some yeah. jokes that hit, but. It wasn't – everyone – okay, first off, I'm sorry for joining late, but this is not like The Office. This show is nothing like The Office. No. That, um, that's where I think people are missing. A lot of, a lot of people – Don't compare yeah. it to The Office. Don't compare it's it to The Office. This, that's true. This own thing, okay? Almost 95% of shows out there can't be compared to The Office. You can't start watching I, I this agree. and be like, I want to see The Office. Now what, not I gonna can, now, what I can say, the show itself – because if, if you remember correctly, on the very first Office, the very first season, it was very slow. Mm-hmm. I think this is going that route. The thing is, there was no punchline, and there was no uh, – you don't know who the star of the show is. Like, in The Office – and I hate comparing it because it's two different things. Or, or let's just give it uh, um, another show. You know who the stars are, and you know who the, the world revolves around. Here, it was all over the place, very yeah. fast-paced, very fast-paced. Uh, Steve For a Carell, minute show, think, yeah. Yeah, and I think Steve Carell, he he did his. I think he did the best he could with the writing that he had. I think the mm. the, the, the cast he is good. It. Greg Daniels, who wrote The Office, mm. who wrote uh, Upload, who's written. I mean, Elias knows his whole resume. <laughs> the guy's <laughs> done amazing things. I feel like they kind of rushed this show. It, it, to me, it feels rushed. It's like they're like, okay, let's get this. Da, 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 let's try to uh, uh, accent. Mm. Let's try to focus on this character, this episode, and this. I mean, you only have ten episodes. Like yeah. usually in a in a TV series, uh, you have like twenty twenty some episodes. And then like episodes, the whole like, the whole thing with Lisa Kudrow as his wife, and then yeah, she's going to, to jail. Me, that's too, yeah, like, it's 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 just like what the fuck. Yeah, his daughter like, to me I, is one of the worst parts. Uh, even though I like Lisa Kudrow and she is funny in the role, but the story for it just doesn't it's work. It's horrible. It's yeah. horrible. The daughter to me isn't charming. She's not very likable. Yeah, she's. Uh, it's they just another. They put so much angst. screen time on her. Yeah. They put so much screen time on her. It was like, what the fuck? Uh, I mean, everyone else, I think they have a comedy roles. Like, I don't know his name, the guy with the glasses and the, the bald head, uh, Malkovich, whatever his damn name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, yeah he, they brought him in for the role because he's done a lot of comedy movies and he has that sarcastic tone. Yeah. Uh, it goes oh, well, so funny. but I feel like there was too much missing in the actual show. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. 
I don't think they should pursue a season two. My opinion, they left it with the cliffhanger. Um, you know, and then like the there was a tra- cliffhanger though. I mean, it really wasn't that much of a cliff. You knew what was coming. As you, as before the show, I mean, halfway through the show, you knew what was going to happen. It, was, it really wasn't much of a, yeah, the, a final the, episode. The story to me wasn't very strong. They go no. to the moon. They're debating whether to just to attack China. It, it, it just wasn't very strong to me. It's not something I cared about. I wasn't over there like, yeah, go attack China, which they yeah, did. Obviously, is the dumb move, right? Uh, someone else took a command. But there's nothing in the story where, like, I cared 100%. I was never like, ooh, I can't wait to see what happens with this character. Yeah. I yeah. can't wait to see what – I never really cared 100% for any of the characters, really. Uh, I, I, You know, like uh, – like I said, when they try to make Dr. Chan and uh, Captain Ali kind of force that relationship, I didn't really care too much. Like, uh, you know, I'm comparing it to The Office when, when Tim, and, I mean, when Jim and Pam first started that girl, going, that, like, that actor, you're rooting for them. You're rooting for them. You're like, true. you care. But in this one, when uh, Ali and Chan start, it's a little bit charming, sure, but there's nothing where you're like you're rooting for them, right? You're not rooting for Nairn. You're not rooting for the couples to get together. You're not rooting like there's no really no one here to root for, and that's kind of like something that I think they missed the ball on. Mm-hmm. I, I I like I said, the, the cast wasn't the issue. Uh, uh, the way they made it wasn't the issue. I think it was just the story itself. Yeah, the writing um, for sure. The writing was was not good, and like you said, maybe it was rushed. But then they kept trying to get get into that whole play of making fun of the Space Force. And it was just like, dude, ah, like, can y'all do something better? Um, there was, like, no. hardly any punchlines. I just – go ahead, Jaden. Like I was telling them, guys, before you, before, you hadn't, before you popped in, you know, a lot of the stuff, the, the making fun of Space Force, making fun of the, the services, that's funny for us veterans and so, us those that are uh, in the military because it's something we do all the time with each other. You know, I mean, especially with, you know, it, it's, it's there's a hierarchy of who you can make fun of. You always make fun of the Coast Guard no matter what. You know, that, that's just the big thing. <laughs> You know, but I mean, it's just that's that. So that's a lot of those really hit for me, but those were really the only points that actually hit for me as far as funny get went. You know, I mean, a lot of it was just. I think I had only one moment where I was just laughing so hard, and it was like a single joke in like the last part of the series of the season. You know, it was just like if you only like I told these guys, it was more it was more of a parody than it was a comedy. Yeah. You know, I I would have to agree with that. And and the funny thing is, is that the way they made it, they, they promoted it like, oh my God, it's yeah. hilarious. It's Carol. And the funny was that's what was missing. The funny, it wasn't and, funny. Yeah, we, and we predicted honest, this too. So, yeah. I'll be honest. Like a lot of times, I was like, you know, like when they had his daughter on screen. Um, pull up mm-hmm. my phone. Let me, you know. Uh, <laughs> and, and not just that, but you know, a lot of the scenes I would. I would, my attention would go elsewhere, and I would come back for those important scenes and pay attention. But for the most part, it, there were some parts during throughout the series where I'm just like, huh, let they me really- get on, you know, let me get on uh, on the phone because there's really nothing that I'm too interested on going on right now. So I had yeah, they, to... they really need more conflict with Bobby. I mean, that would that would have made it a lot more interesting, you know, having the conflict with China Wait. and the conflict with Bobby at the same time. Wait, you you know what? Rush, yeah, yeah you're right. that's what yeah, I said. Like Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like sabotage each other and like yeah. make jokes at each other. I there was so much potential there, but now yeah. the the enemy is this invisible. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we all know what China is and all that, and I get it with, with the joke they were going for. But why not make the enemies the characters you have there? Like there yeah, was so was, much potential. He was right? an underutilized character. He really was. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the story could have gone very much another route and. That, the way sorry. they took it just wasn't very, I wasn't invested in it. This no, was either. a dud for Net, This was yeah. a dud for Netflix. Netflix hasn't been making much duds. This was a big mm. dud. And they mm. spent a lot of money on this. I don't know how they plan on moving forward with this. These type of shows, they lately I don't know what's going on with Netflix. They're known to take their time to make sure everything's yeah. right. And even though people are getting angsty and pissed off, they release it like Stranger Things and, and mm-hmm. it's good. Uh, yeah. here like Lil says, feels rush. It's not mm-hmm. Steve Carell's best work. And then Elias kept saying his voice. His voice is not for that character, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I feel like he had to change it. That's the best he could do. If he would have used his regular voice, you really ain't going to believe him. I like, think he, he had been to a, change it. If he would have been a scientist, that would have gone with his voice. Maybe Bro. that role... It would have yeah. maybe done. Bro, if you would have switched 
the guys. I think it, yeah. if John Malkovich would have been the general, I think that uh, would have probably. I don't know. I thought I don't yeah. think John Malkovich would have made a good general, but you know, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, it's, all right, it's all right. unfortunate. Y'all want to rate it? Uh, yeah. Leo, you got anything um, else to say? It's fucking trash, mate. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's rate it. Let's rate it. Y'all have to force myself through this shit. Y'all have no idea. All right. I think, like I said, there. I think there are some redeeming qualities to it. Like I said, uh, I hope so. John Malkovich is is really good in it. Um, they have certain characters there that are really funny. I feel that Ben Schwartz could have done better. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. It, it's it's five not out of ten. Trash. It's not great. It's right in the middle. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. The comedy was so dry, and the attempts, and they they tried. You could tell in the attempts they tried really hard. It was just like, uh, uh, I think the overall performance by everybody was okay. Um, I give it a four, guys. I wouldn't watch it. I would just watch mm. it if there's nothing else on. Dude, there really I'm, is nothing a lot on. I'm, I'm going to just have to say four <laughs> to ten because really, I mean, to be honest, you know, as far as the storyline goes, I didn't, I, I wasn't trying to get a feel good at the end of the end of the end of the show. Got a real feel good situation here. No, I wanted a comedy. You know, if you're going to label it as a comedy, mm-hmm. I want a comedy. I don't want to sit this. I don't want this comedy drama crap that they're trying to pull. So yeah, I mean, just you know, like I said, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of the jokes that hit for me were the military jokes. Other than that, everything else was just kind of flat. But you know, keep so. in mind that that's the trend now. Comedy dramas are the trend. Even the Office had their drama. I don't see this show comedy. as a drama. I mean, uh, yeah, so, it, had his... it it felt like it had like a lot of cringe moments, kind of like the Office had. Yeah. And yeah. that that kind of like yeah, put okay. me off. I'm like, I don't I don't need to see this in this show. Like I've already seen that in the Office. I, I want to see something different. But as far as the rating for this, I'm going to give it the rating of how many episodes I watched. Three out of ten. It's fucking terrible. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, bad. it's bad, dude. Damn. All right. It was bad. <laughs> and for Elias to say that, you know yeah. that sucks. Because Elias I know. Yeah, I mean, man. and he watched Tiger King, too, so this should have been okay for him. No, Tiger King. Like, <laughs> dude, Tiger King? <laughs> you need to watch <laughs> Tiger King. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You do not watch. Don't watch Dark Phoenix, man. That movie was terrible. Oh, bro. I watched that. Ten Who would minutes watch in. That? Ten minutes in, bro. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Who would watch that? Okay. Yeah. I, I was invested. I was like, you know what? I've seen all the the prequel X Men movies. I was like, I might as well bro. see the last one. <laughs> Who bro. would do that? My girl Who would really love those movies. My girl loves those. <laughs> oh my god! I literally had to buy a movie ticket for that movie. Leave Trust her. Leave her me. Not, bro. <laughs> Trust me, people yeah. like the X Men. I don't know why. I don't know how. Bro, I would never I watch. I hope, I hope they get like a better casting now that Disney has them. Like, bro, I, really, I, I can't really wait till so. Disney does something with that. I cannot yeah. wait. Yeah, I can't to wait X-Men for in the MCU. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, don't right. watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're really bored, watch it. But other than that, I, I, you know. Yeah, if you're still in the quarantine, apparently yeah. nobody is. This but... is, might be more entertaining. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure. You know. uh, but yeah, JD closes out, man. All right, man. That's all we got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe to uh, see more. And make sure you hit the little dingery dingy so you can uh, catch us anytime we go on. Ring a ding ding. Um, what was it? Uh, Anchor? Thanks to Anchor <laughs> yeah. for all that stuff to do. And Anchor, Spotify, <laughs> yeah. iTunes. You, you would think Anchor would be the one I remember, you know, from the Navy. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, thanks for all that. Thanks for putting us on the yeah, different Spotify, podcast spots we got. ITunes, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. I guess that's all for now. Uh, everybody, peace, peace. out. Peace all out. Right, bye. Peace.